Bonjour. Bonjour, no. De Janeiro. De Jorno. We're but trying to say hi. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're fine. Hey, what's up? It's Mia. And Carla. We're gonna do an episode of my drunk ass diary. It's not an ass diary, it's just a drunk diary, but we like to swear here. It's all so about ass. Only <laughs> stories about butt. So basically, I have my high school diary. It's really embarrassing. I think it's part high school, part middle school. I'm gonna read from that. Carla is gonna read from her phone notes, right? Yes. <laughs> so as you can see, you've been clearly drinking before. Yes. This. We're I gonna drink some more. You just pour it straight in there, like a <laughs> pee in a toilet bowl. Oh, and then you chug it. Should we chug it? A chug. A wine chug. Oh, drink responsibly. Was I just literally bamboozled into chugging this? <laughs> Should I do the rest? Yes. <laughs> this is a lot. How We're not fucking sippers. She's almost there. She's <laughs> tastes like grapes. We should order pizza. Wait, what were we uh, talking about? Oh, calling people out on their bullshit. Mm. I was looking through my notes and I have a lot of dreams, a lot of okay. like random thoughts. So it's titled first stand-up bit that I will never perform probably. Except right now, I guess. When you're house hunting, you're picking between the lesser of two evils. Like, okay, I can deal with petty crimes like theft from the vehicle or domestic abuse, because like at least they know each other. Like you're not it's not you're not subject to being crime. And in Norfolk, we got broken into plenty of times. It's not like we were Whoa, like, yeah, while you're there? You? Hell yeah. Hurricane. My roommate's mattress got stolen. <clears throat> That's funny. I mean, it's not. It's a mattress? A, a fucking mattress, her dresser. There's a TV. Lena, There's a I'm computer. Sorry. There's our microwave, our broom. I'm literally. Our they literally housed their new house. Her fucking <gasps> And I was like, <gasps> my bike got took stolen. Your I can't believe this is a <laughs> bottle opener. Like, how the f did you open it? We got more wine. September. Whoa. Okay. Now I'm, really, I'm not little John. Whoa, okay. Now I really haven't wrote in here forever. Gross. I reread this and I realized how much I changed in the past year. Bitch, it's been a year. But so much has changed. It's sophomore year. I'm a thespian. I began working at Quiznos as a cashier. Aww. Summer crush, John. He's so sexy. On Mega's movie night, we all decided at 10 at night. 10, 10 at, at night. night. We're gonna jump in Julie's pool with our clothes on. <laughs> Everyone did and I didn't want to. So John got out the pool and I said, parentheses, so sexy. So I came sexy. over to me and was like, you're getting in right now. And so I held my, he held my hand and we jumped in together. Girl, I do remember that moment. I literally felt like I was in a Taylor Swift music video because he held my hand. He was a high guy when he jumped in with me and I was like, ah! I feel like I was always in a relationship in high school. Oh my God, see, I was opposite. I was never in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't want to be distracted. I was like, get the f away from me. Mm -hmm. You have a penis, but like, I have better things to do. Oh, the cheese is hitting. Are you okay? Do you need to take a No, break? I love Water? cheese. Water? No, no, I live for this. So, he knew it was coming. We swam and stuff, he's a hot bite. So later that day, he texted me and was like, your friend Taylor's hot. Why does this always happen to me? I said, sweet, haha. -ha. And he was like, you're pretty sexy too. And I was freaking out. Damn. First of all, how dare I? He literally said my friend was hot and then said I was hot and then I was like, oh my God. You also- Not okay. Next would be played Manhunt, which I played man all the time. Manhunt classic. Love man Hunt. Did you play Manhunt a lot? Hell yeah. Just Virginia <laughs> things. Yeah. Well, we and played what, in Massachusetts, but it was like- Oh yeah. Cause you didn't come to Virginia college. It's just a woods thing. It is, right? Like you live in the woods, you just like- Just the woods thing. Like, play it's a woods girl. So like, if, why the we were wild as kids. I said, we played truth or dare. It was hilarious. We had to lick mailboxes and tires and dance in the middle of the street. Good old fashioned fun. And Chris said to Becca, hey, bitch, I tell you to lick the electrical wires or sit in the street until the car rush over. Lol. Hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. So here's the heartbreak. And next morning, I found out he got a girlfriend that morning. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> no, this is hilarious. I was crushed. I don't think I've ever been hurt by a guy like that in my life. Now, September 3rd, 2009. In December, December 19th, 2009, I said, Chris is a creeper. He told me he wanted to make out and that he'd do anything with me. He's gross. I can't believe I left him. <laughs> Aww. Ah! 
Okay, here's another note. Seven. Wait, I just made direct eye contact with somebody in that house. Looking through the window? Wait. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh yeah, I do see him actually. Wait, we made direct eye contact? I saw his bald head once he said that. Because I was like, the window's closed. And it was like this much of his little Should bald Should I close head. it? Literally I'm like uncomfortable. I'm gonna close it. He's getting the first view, that mother bitch. So anyways, growing up is shitty. Then there's living alone and walking around naked all the time with your cat. But who's paying the rent? <laughs> yeah, you gotta do it. <laughs> is that what I sound like? Ha. Ha. That's the joke. Wait, do I like shit? <laughs> I had many grad, grad birthday parties. There was roasted pig. Gross. You don't like roasted pig? I don't eat pork. Oh. But I just had pepperonis because I'm drunk. Oops, don't tell. I had the biggest crush. Oh, this is the one that gets sad. Oh, yeah, two girls won't cut Oh. I really like Johnny. But we're friends. He lives in New York now. He's like, like the like little like gypsy little high school guy. I had one of those in my neighborhood and he was like, I'm a foster kid. I can't be here for a long time. And I was like, but I'm so attached. And then he disappears one day. Four years later, knocks on my door. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you. Alexa, stop. Okay, okay is, my head, is my headband make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's right. Okay, this is a dream of mine. Oh, 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 oh. This is a dream I have. May 2016. Yes. I was with my parents watching some kind of show at an auditorium. Mm -hmm. On the way out, I saw Pharrell Williams. No, you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh. Sitting in the back by himself, because he cool like that. That's something Pharrell Williams would do. I went over to him and said, ah, can we please take written? a selfie? Ah! So I saw my dad looking for me, and I called him over. I said, dad, this is, and my dad interrupted and said, hi, Pharrell Williams, I'm a big fan. Yes. I laughed, and my dad leaned into Pharrell and said, you know, me and my wife aren't usually open to this sort of thing. No! No! <laughs> this took five to, five left turns. But you are right. so handsome. I said, Dad! Pharrell's people came over. And he said, I gotta go. Was your dad proposing a three-way with Pharrell? Yes. A four-way. He, he was proposing. No, with... technically a three-way with my mom, my dad, and him. Oh, I thought he oh, was he not about it, which wife. I respect. And my dad wouldn't be down for that anyway, for the record, but... Oh. <laughs> you sound disappointed. It's Pharrell. Yeah, but it's my dad. Are we recording? It's like the all only the two posters on my wall. All the girls standing in the line in the bathroom. All the girls standing in the line for the bath. And then I moved to Virginia Beach and everyone's like, yeah, he's from here. And I was like, oh. this is meant to be. So all the friends in the friends cast hooked up with each other. You have oh, to this say is the so bad. <laughs> okay, I said April 8th. Woo. Whoa, buddy. I had it written in here in a really, really long, 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 long time. Five months have passed. Five aggressive. months? Yeah, I'm aggressive. That's really, <laughs> really scary. Seriously, that's a lot of time. Okay, get it. Let's do a quick recap. Woo, woo, a lot has changed. Let's do world events. Britney Spears and Michael are back from their bad reputation. <laughs> you read that? <laughs> Britney Spears and Michael Jackson! This is not Chris Brown beat Rihanna. The economy is horrible. That's what I'm saying. The economy! Ah. That was a wine burp. Ten Britney years ago. Britney Spears, Ten remember years when she literally had a meltdown? Wait, I have a report. There's one on Britney Spears. And Spears. <laughs> There's one on Britney Spears. And apparently, her meltdown was tied to the government. So all the Disney stars, like Christina Aguilera, Ryan Gosling, they all started on Disney Channel and like Mickey Mouse Playhouse. Apparently they all have handlers that are like in the Illuminati. Or, like, and so they started hypnotizing them when they were young and they could snap their fingers and they can just like go on a meltdown. I'm just saying, when everything was happening with Bush, there were so many controversies that apparently, if you look at a timeline of like White, Her White House controversies and Britney Spears meltdowns, all of them correlated within a few days of each other, so everyone's saying that Britney Spears was a distraction from the White House. That is insane. Well, okay, anyways, I thank think you. This, I think this is for tuning in. Good, thank you. Because we're still drunk we and we're still we are now. It was like an ayahuasca trip it without the ayahuasca. Also, check out our short film. Oh, the dog. A thousand percent is the best thing you'll watch in the next hour. I feel like we need an exit song. Tell Alexa to play something. Alexa. Is this a 
bad outro song. <laughs>